on LED power and its efficiency. So in this lecture, we are going to see the efficiency of an LED power here. These are the learning outcomes. At end of this session, students will be able to explain the LED power and its efficiency. So before starting to the efficiency part, so just recall how many types of sources are there in optical communication. So as we know that there are two types of uh, sources that is one is laser and is one is the LED. So LED is being generated through the spontaneous emission and while lasers are being generated through a stimulated emission here. So difference in between that is when there is an absorption energy from E1 state to the E2 state means lower state to the higher state. So the electrons due to the absorption of energy will jump from the valence band to the conduction band. So when they come down, they emit the energy in the form of light. So these are known as the spontaneous emission. But when the electrons coming down from the conduction band to the valence band, so the externally we are going to insert the electrons which is going to incident on the electrons which are coming down from E2 to E1 state. So it emits the energy that is known as an the lasers generation that is the stimulated emission. And we have seen in the previous video about the laser's efficiency. So it is about 80 to 90 percent because the geometry used for the generation of an lasers are DH that is double heterojunctions and the material used are gallium arsenide and the aluminium arsenide here. So these are the material used to generate the LED as well as the lasers in the fabric petro cavity here. So we have seen the efficiency now. So efficiency is nothing but it is being calculated that output upon input. Okay. So now we'll calculate the total power required and the efficiency of an LED here. So when we consider at the forward bias, so the carrier injection occurs at the device contact. So the power generated internally by the LED may be calculated by the surplus electrons because uh, what is the rule that there should be a more number of electrons at the E2 state at the conduction state here so that while coming down so we can incident one more photon so that the lasers can be taking place or it uh, emits the energy that is the uh, spontaneous emission here. So for that reason only so for that reason uh, there will be an excess electrons for the spontaneous emission. So that is being calculated by this delta n equals to delta n of 0 exponentially minus t upon tau. So where delta n 0 is the initial injected excess electron density, tau is represent the total carrier recombination of lifetime here. Okay. So after this, when the it is the LED is the forward bias, the current is I and the total recombination of per second R of t is given by I divided by E. I divided by E the where I is the current and E is the number of electrons here. Okay. So internal quantum efficiency that is N of internal that is given which is defined as the ratio of radiative recombination to the a total recombination. As we know that for the spontaneous emission that the electrons excess electrons when they come down so they emit the energy in the form of light and heat. So when they uh, emits the energy in the form of light that is known as the radiative element and non light that is the heat that is known as the non radiative here because that is the spontaneous emission here. So internal efficiency can be written as a RR of R of T equals to RR upon RR plus NR that is the radiative element plus non radiative elements here. So which can be written as the RR upon R of T that is the total recombination rate here total recombination rate that is the injected electrons okay and total current here where RR is the total number of ready to recombinations per second here. Now if you observe that the second equation this R of T okay R of T is given by I upon E and the third equation okay. So, so substituting in the equation 3 we are going to put the value of an r of t in this equation so we can write n of t that is i divided by e here 
where RR is the equivalent to the total number of photons generated per second here. And thus the optical power internally generated by the LED that is the P int is given by total number of photons generated per second into energy of each photon that is the energy of each photon that is RR into HF where RR is calculated that int that is the efficiency int I divided by E into HF so which can be rearranged at this in this manner that is int into H into C into I divided by E by lambda here because F can be written as an C by F here so why we have given or uh, rearrange all these elements here by solving the problems sometimes they will give the frequency sometimes they will give the value of an lambda here so depending on those we have to calculate the total optical power internally generated here okay so same way for the exponentially decay the excess carrier what we have seen excess carrier means what because those many of electrons are not required for the spontaneous emission which will emits the the non radiative as well as the radiative recombination here that is tau r is given by delta n that is the excess electrons divided by rr that is then radiative recombination so the non radiative recombination of lifetime is that is the tau r nr is given by delta n divided by r of nr here so the total recombination of total will be tau is equals to delta n upon r of t here so which can be written as 1 by tau is equals to 1 by tau r plus 1 by tau nr here okay the that is the total radiative as well as the plus of non radiative element therefore the internal quantum efficiency can be written as n so if you substitute these values in this uh, in this equation that is delta n upon r of t so you will get that is 1 by 1 plus nr divided by rr equals to 1 divided by 1 plus tau r upon tau nr that is the tau divided by tau r here okay so this is the internal quantum efficiency is being generated here okay so what we have seen in this that the excess electrons will be uh, is calculated that is the internal quantum efficiency is given by this okay so this tau upon tau r here okay so if you want to calculate the external efficiency internal efficiency is being calculated in this manner here so external efficiency means what the coupling of this light should be given to the optical fiber here at least for the single mode or the <coughs> multi mode here so that is known as the Lambertian intensity distribution here so that distribution is nothing but so now suppose this is an cavity which inside the cavity you are going to generate the LED output okay so this output whenever is going to couple through this OFC that is the this is an optical fiber here O F C that is optical fiber communication here so the light is going to incident on this core material here so the maximum number of light will be incident on this center here as we move away from this center here so your light will not coupled into this optical fiber by the angle of cos theta so that is given by the Lamberton distribution here so as we know that the LED structures are of five types here three to four types that is the planar LED will be there dome shaped will be there a surface emitter will be there and as well as the edge emitter are there super luminescent LEDs are there so the difference between these two uh, or three four these materials are that the light gathering capability so whenever you are going to generate the LED as a source LED as a source so the maximum number of light should be get inserted into the optical fiber that is known as the total numerical aperture here okay that is the acceptance here okay so uh, what as we have seen uh, the LED power and the efficiency here externally quantum efficiency as well as the internal quantum efficiency so <coughs> uh, you are going to calculate the NA also here so that NA can be calculated in the next lecture here okay
So these are my references. Thank you.